The ROG Phone 5 was released in March of 2021, and not even a year later, Asus has brought the next iteration of their flagship gaming smartphone to the lineup. And boy, I gotta tell you, this phone knocks everything out of the park when it comes to gaming and then some. Today I'll be unboxing the ROG Phone 6 Pro and give you my first impressions on its game performance and other things. Let's get into it. What's up fellow geeks, my name is Zinio, and if you're new to the channel, welcome to Geek Culture. We cover tons of amazing stuff like tech, toys, entertainment, and more. So do subscribe and leave us a like if this content tickles your fancy. Now, the main box for the ROG Phone 6 Pro is sleek and futuristic. It kind of reminds me of Armored Core for some reason. So let's open this up. We have, oh, okay. We got a card here, which is for the AR experience Aces mentioned, which I'll leave for you guys to experience for yourselves. And the main phone. Wow, nice. The main phone, it looks and feels very Evangelion, Evangelion, like real Ray Ayanami vibes. It has a sleek back and the only thing that will attract smudges are the camera and its little display panel, which I think plays animations. And we got other stuff. The case is down here with some instructions. And at the bottom, we have the charging head and the charging cable, which doesn't want to come out. The charging cable. So now let's talk about the phone. This thing packs a 6,000 milliamp hour dual cell battery with a 65 watt charger that goes zero to full in 42 minutes. The camera at the back uses a Sony sensor and shoots videos up to 8K 24fps and 4K 60 and 30fps. It has a Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 chip packed with an overclocked Adreno 730 GPU that according to Asus delivers 10% faster CPU and GPU performance and 30% more battery efficiency. The main screen is a Samsung AMOLED display tuned by ROG themselves and goes to a max refresh rate of 165Hz with a touch sampling rate of up to 720Hz and a 23 millisecond touch latency. To put it simply, it's damn smooth. And Asus was kind enough to send us all these accessories, the Aeroactive Cooler and the Kunai 3 gamepad and you all know how to spoil us. Amongst many other cool things, I'm just going to touch on a few that stood out to me in the time I've had it. The phone has two USB-C ports for charging, one on the bottom right and the other on the side. And it has a 3.5mm audio jack which you don't see very often. But the one thing that stood out to me the most are its speakers. As the audio-ish guy for the channel, let me tell you, god it was love at first blast. Sound staging is wide and clear thanks to its two symmetrical 5 magnet 12x16 super linear speakers powered by Sirius Logic CS35L45 mono amplifiers. On a consumer level, these are really amazing to have around because even at the lower volumes, the sound is still wide, clear and deep, so you can expect even greater when you blast it. And of course, the sexiest thing about this phone is its ROG PMOLED display. Look at that! That comes with several preloaded animations. Asus even added 60 more compared to its previous iterations and you can even download or create your own animations. It's honestly a great conversation piece and will definitely turn heads as you turn yours to pick up a call or game with. It's a great looking phone overall and gaming wise which we'll be covering in a video against the Blackjack 5 Pro. So far it handles heat management really well with its game cool 6 cooling system that spreads heat evenly across the phone. And if you get the Aeroactive cooler, you wouldn't need to worry about overheating at all honestly. But this being first impressions video with the amount of time I've had with it, it's safe to say that there hasn't been any deal breaking bugs or terrible features on the phone yet. But also take into account that there will be more updates in the future, so I wouldn't worry about anything too much if I were you. The Asus ROG Phone 6 Pro is definitely a handsomely made phone with gamers concerns in mind in terms of heat distribution, ergonomics and mindful details like the side USB-C port and a ton of accessories readily available to amp up your gaming experience. It's really something that I personally am looking forward to. So that's all we have for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below and I'll do my best to get to them. Remember to follow us on all of our socials. And if you like this video, leave a like and subscribe to our channel. We have a ton of content coming your way. This is Zinio and I'll catch up with you all soon.